Hi guys, so please excuse my hair. I know it's a mess. Um, I've got an update coming on that soon for you guys. So today I thought I would do a one brand look using the brand Savvy. I purchased a number of their items in my recent haul video. If you haven't seen that, I'll have that link So to below. start off with, I'm taking Savvy's Flawless Finish Foundation. It just looks like this. And mine is in the colour Tan Beige. And I'm just going to take that on my buffing brush from Real Techniques. This is one I use for all my foundation. I haven't actually used any of the Savvy Cosmetics before. This is the first time that I've used it. This foundation actually smells really nice. It smells really clean, which is weird. But nice. Um, the colour seems to match fairly well. I'd say if anything it's maybe a shade too dark. Um, it doesn't look like it on camera. I thought I would introduce my kitty cat. Say hi. And I got her a couple weeks ago and her name's Ellie. Um, she's about six months old. Um, she likes to sit on me while I'm trying to do things like this. But that's alright. Okay. I wouldn't say that this foundation has the best coverage, but it does feel really nice on the skin. It definitely doesn't feel um, cakey or anything like that. Um, it doesn't look cakey. Um, it actually looks quite nice, but yeah, definitely not a high coverage foundation. So now I'm just going to take the Savvy, the, what is it, Natural Finish Pressed Powder in Translucent, just a translucent powder, um, just to set my foundation. And I'm just going to be taking this on my e.l.f. powder brush that's really worn, but still does the job. note this foundation dries really nicely it's not tacky at all I can't even feel that it's on my skin um, which is really 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 nice uh, I probably wouldn't even need this powder what I can say about this powder I mean it's a translucent powder but it wasn't too powdery um, it does definitely you know go on nicely um, and again I can't I still can't feel that I have it on my face and it doesn't look cakey at all um, so yeah I'd definitely reach for this powder again um, so next I've got a mineral baked eyeshadow just in the color stardust now this isn't going to show up too much on my eyes but I'm just going for a real natural look today, just with what I've got here. Um, my pop of colour will be on my lips. And I'm going to take my favourite blending brush, which is actually the just this little essence one. It's like two dollars from Priceline. And my voice has gone really funny. Sorry. Um, and I'm just going to keep blending that out so that that doesn't have any harsh lines, even though it is just the one colour. And then just grabbing my angled eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to run a little bit in the inner corners and under the eye. really really basic you can't even see it that much but it just opens up my eyes a little bit I think um, I'll zoom you in so there you can see it a little bit better excuse my eyebrows I totally didn't even realize that I need to do them um, but it's a really nice just shimmery shade and it'll look really nice and in, just in the inner corners when you do have something a bit brighter on or something or even darker either but um, I'm just gonna wear it like that today with some mascara 
So I'm just using the Curling Mascara by Sevi. Um, that's what the brush looks like there. It kind of dips down a little bit. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> of the mascara um, you can't even see it on camera that well just like that you can actually see it a bit better so I'm actually pleasantly surprised with that mascara I wasn't expecting much for it being, I think it was like $9 or something, but it actually does work really well on my lashes compared to a lot of others, um, and it keeps the lashes separated rather than clumping together, which I really like as well. Next, I'm going to take the Savvy blush. This one is in Petal, and I'm going to take that on my Exo Beauty blush brush that just looks like this. I was so not expecting it to be that pigmented. Um, I'm just going to take my powder brush and just try and tidy it up a little bit. And next for the colour, the lips. And this is the Savvy Ultra Matte Lip Colour. And this one was in Icon. Um, and it's just a purple colour. And I can't wait to try this. Just waiting to see if it's going to dry, because that's what I would imagine it would do. The only thing I would say is it's quite hard to get it 100% perfect. So maybe next time I would um, put it on maybe like and then maybe go around the outside in a concealer just to get it more defined because you know you can see where the line is. not 100% right and I can't fix it up so you need to fix it up while it's still drying because now that it's dried I it won't move which is also good though um, but I really like the colour really really like the colour so overall with the Savvy products I'm really impressed uh, I mean I wasn't expecting the blush to be pigmented to be honest um, but it really, really was. You have to be careful how much you put on. This lipstick feels really nice on the lips and it is completely matte, which I really like. Um, but it's still a very um, vibrant and very true colour to what's in the tube. This foundation just feels really nice. It's not sticky at all. It's not high coverage, but it's definitely a very good uh, daily foundation. Um, the powder went on nice. Not much I can say about that. The the mascara was definitely um, good. Oh. If you can see there, it definitely helped my eyelashes a lot. And it's probably better than my mascara. Oh, what's it called? I would say it's better than my Ramil Scandal Eyes mascara, which was in my last favourites video if you watched that. Um, yeah, definitely a new favourite with that one and with the lip colour. The eyeshadow, um, it'd probably make a really good highlight, um, but can't really say. 
if you look at it, it is quite powdery. There's just powder everywhere and it did go everywhere when I was using it as well. So that would be the one thing that I probably wouldn't repurchase again. Uh, but all the rest I definitely would and I would recommend because it was all, I think the foundation was like $12 and the rest was all under that. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get it anywhere other than Australia. I really wouldn't have a clue. I've never seen it before. Uh, if you do know, let me know. And if you have any other video requests, let me know as Thank well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.